where is the synchronize button yeah here at the bottom see ha ha this, this one okay create an account on jobin normal uh, personal email id also you can create and then second option it will ask you to uh, download the extension download the extension and then at the bottom just sangeeta shown that you have a option for synchronize the account so once you click on synchronize then you would see that number of profile reviews search appearances messages hmm. sent connection request from so and so date that you have sent and if there is anything that you have to withdraw you can withdraw let's go slowly linkedin activity current status total connection 12699 your pending connection invitations 227 your received connection invitations 3 um and then your name personalized last 7 days data you can change the data from you can change the data for last 6 months from where from here ha uh, below below that 7 days ha uh, from just change it from there okay Either here there I... or that click on that calendar okay i click on the calendar if you click on the 7 days it is showing 90 days 20 okay. like that click on that Oh. Yeah. Okay. So like should I go to three sixty five? Okay. So Shiv, we are sharing all the personal data also with this platform, right? I mean, LinkedIn has some personal data. No, I didn't get your question, Shweta. Ah, uh, so we are LinkedIn has some personal information, right? So we are sharing all those data with, with this platform as well. When we are sharing the data with this platform. you are sharing a database it is basically you are signing up with your linkedin it is accessing your linkedin account and saying how many connections do you have in linkedin how many pending invitations you have how many connections you have received all the data it is directly showing you over here it has gone to your linkedin account and got the data over here and started displaying okay. and this is in a beta version so that's is it is there are a lot of features which are available for free and generally which are the beta versions are used in a early stages like if you seek out i used for 9 7 8 9 years ago still it is free which continues for me so beta versions i would highly recommend you to join there is no loss of data nothing like that but join and see in case if you can be a long term partner with this kind of a tools so do i need to refresh it right now or it is taking 365 i think days. it's taking period analyze 364 days the new profile views just see have one refresh and see yeah 64 days seven oh, days by default seven days make it to 365 so there are a lot of features which are get to implement so some But may work some may not work 100% yeah. as it has to be work as it clearly mentioned that there are a lot of features which are yet to be implemented okay so don't be confused that why this is working why this is not working so it is still in a beta stage they are building still and if there is any feedback you can always give it to them they'll work on those feedbacks okay But now scroll down this the site is there since uh, almost more than 2 3 years right sangeeta continue we'll, we'll continue on your system only okay i'll share again i thought i have to stop sharing no yeah ago it is there for more than 2 3 years but the way yeah. it is before 2 3 years and the way today it is there are lots of differences yeah and yeah i tried today, it some time back it be, and after 2 3 years there will be a lot of differences right right yeah, yeah i, I mean, tried it style version was not there actually in my case the period was completely free yes it is 7 days only what what pius uh, in my case period analyzed is 7 days only why this is so by default it is 7 days you can make it 365 click on that calendar or 7 days you can make it 365 okay okay got it got it yeah by default it is 7 days then you can make 28 days 90 days 365 days though we are trying to make just try 28 days sangeeta and see in case if it is analyzing the data for 28 days data is not yet changing scroll down maybe social selling index is changing So that is in twenty-eight days, sixty-eight, sixty-one percent. Just see now, three sixty-five days. You can just do. Mm -hmm. It is not changing. Just scroll down now. The same. No, no, refresh won't work. It has to change, which is yet to come. Scroll down. Okay, so it is giving you your social selling index SSI. What is the average SSI in your industry? That is thirty-one percent. Average SSI in your network. That is thirty-six percent. 
and what is your average SSI? Like establish your professional brand. Just click on that orange. And just go to orange. Hover over orange. No, no, yeah. on sixty-one percent orange. Yeah, sixteen percent. Then purple, then green. All those things you can keep on hovering, so that for each and everything it will show you the uh, how much percentage um, relationship building or engagement with insights, finding right people, establishing professional band, missing, and all everything. You can minimize now slowly. Okay, so this is pretty much how the dashboard looks like. Scroll down again. Means it will just connect with your LinkedIn. Whatever the data is there on your LinkedIn, it will take it from there. And wait till tomorrow. Today only you signed up. Wait till tomorrow. Even I signed up, signed in after a long time today. So it's giving me that much data only. But wait till tomorrow and see if there are any data changes. So this is a dashboard. Okay, this is how the dashboard looks like. Any question on dashboard? How to change the number of days from two? Last thing three minutes ago, again, you're syncing. 365 days and you're syncing. Let's see if there are changes. It's the same. It's the same. A uh, minus so five has come, minus 5%. It was there previously also. Okay. Scroll up slightly. Okay. So number of invitations that you sent with job in. So nothing with job in yet. New connections, nothing with job in yet. Unchanged, unchanged. Messages, in, interest, search appearances. That is, you appeared in these many searches. New profile views, your profile viewed in those many days. 311 times. Then total connections, your pending connections, 227. That you sent the connections, but people are yet to accept. Uh, under the LinkedIn activity, current status. Huh. You have a total connection, your pending connection invitation, that is 227, uh, which is pending. That means you have sent the connection invites, but they have not yet accepted yet. That They're still pending. How many connections you received? That is three. That's in the last seven days. Minimize it. Okay, that's about the, pretty much about the dashboard. Any doubts on dashboard? Yeah, a shoe... Uh... Industry human resource services, how it is taking on based on your company profile, whatever the company you are working. Okay. Based on your profile, it is also tacking which company are you working in that company, your digital marketing team, or if the company is listed on a LinkedIn, then while listing, what is the industry of your company is mentioned? Based on that, it is taking. Okay. Okay, whatever the listing that you have mentioned, what your company belongs to based on that, it is taken. Okay, okay, so that's about dashboard. Any further questions on dashboard? Hoshi, we are good. Shivin, no, it's just Sahil showing a missing. No, what do you mean by that missing? Missing in the sense, the data which is not able to capture. So here if we scroll down, Sangeeta. Okay, establishing professional brand, all those things. Scroll up slightly, not too much. Now, here. So, missing is there, right? Means that that is not getting tagged to anything. Is it establishing professional brand or any other activity? That is something which is not able to tag as of now. So, it says it's missing. Okay. Okay. It is not a recruiter performance related to doing a branding. Nothing, nothing. It doesn't have to do anything with that. Okay. 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 Go to next step, Sangeeta. After the dashboard, below that. So, so Shiv, one, hmm. one question, Shiv. Hmm. What is this change um, uh, for Sangeeta? It's showing minus 5%, minus 0%. Uh, what is that? So that's a performance change based on the LinkedIn profile activity. Okay. Social selling index change. So my social selling index would be something today based on my activity. After one week, it would be, it would be something different, plus or minus. After two weeks, it could be something different, plus or minus. So that keeps getting plus or minus. Don't worry about it. So it's about profile view activity. How many profile? How many people are viewing your profile? How many people are visiting your profile? How many connection requests you are sending? How many searches you are creating? How many times your brand is getting mentioned into the um, post? All those things. So that's for establishing a professional brand, finding the right people, engaging with insights, building relationship, and those things. 
So it is not included in the recruiter account, no? Like, is it capturing individual account or is it capturing the recruiter account? There is no recruiter account linked to it. It's only individual account. Okay. There is no relation between recruiter account and this. Understood. Sangeeta, I don't think she has a recruiter account. No, no, mine Sangeeta, is simple. Account? No, no, simple account. The simple free one, right? Free one, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. This is giving you the data entirely from your free account. Okay, if the yeah, activity is number of activities in the recruiter account, it won't be visible here. Recruiter account don't have activity. Mm -hmm. It's only on a personal account we have activity. On recruiter right. account, we have an activity of the candidate, whether the candidate has been reached in past one month or two months, has been not reached, uh, has the candidate been applied or not applied, past applicants. So that is there on the sourcing activity on the recruiter account. That is a completely a different activity altogether in the recruiter account. Understood. Recruiter account is not a social media. It's a job portal. Understood. Anyone who has 10 connection also can get access to the recruiter account and get um, an access to the millions of job seeker and apply the filters. Recruiter account is a jobs, uh, job portal. Personal account is a social media. Understood. So here what you're getting is from the personal account, from the social media, not from the recruiter account. All right. So click on next option, Sangeeta. Sourcing. Okay. Okay, now here in sourcing, you have various options like LinkedIn import, X-ray, CSV, site search, and contact list. Click on LinkedIn import. Don't do any import, but just click on LinkedIn import. Okay, now it's saying automated LinkedIn first connection import. Uh, it will import all your first degree connections here into the job in. Don't do that. It will trigger a robo activity. Okay. Yeah, I've, less... I've taken my cursor away. <laughs> Don't so do that. By... Yeah. No, it, take, even, it will for also, I think, uh, even for syncing also, I think it is considering it as a robo activity because I just now got the alert. Is it? I don't know. Maybe your, your license is in a radar for a couple of days now. Uh, so the time you got the alert. Yeah, Mine will come now. <laughs> don't trigger any robo activity. That's what I'm saying. Don't trigger any robo activity. So how to stop syncing uh, Shiv in this? Harish, you hold on for this kind of a tools for at least two weeks. Remove all the tools. Remove all the tools or pause all the tools for at least two to three weeks. Completely off tools. Completely okay. pause it. I, I am That's not what I'm saying. You have to teach your robots yeah. how to work like a human, and we also should not be using tools so frequently. Okay. 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 If you are using it, then only you enable it. Don't keep it enabled forever. No, I switched off all the things, but as you told, two weeks we have to wait. I think it's been only three or At five days. At least wait for two weeks and don't yeah. uh, activate anyone. At least which are the tools working on LinkedIn, don't activate any tools. Other tools you can activate. But the tools which sure. are working on LinkedIn don't activate, at least for two weeks. Sure. sure. Okay. Sangeeta, you can come to job in. <laughs> okay. The first is automate LinkedIn first connection import. Don't ever do that. It is giving you an option. As I mentioned, though these robots are giving us an option to trigger a robo activity, but don't ever do that. They're yet to mature. They're small babies now. They're yet to mature. Okay. Go to the second. Okay, seamless on click profile import where you go to LinkedIn, directly give a search over there on a LinkedIn. And then from the extension, you like the profile, you're saying import like that. This import will happen. Open LinkedIn profile that interests you. Click on the job in extension, top right corner of the browser. Then the full contact has been imported to your contacts page. With seamless import clicking is not even necessary. Click on job in extension, top right corner of the browser option. Open option, top right corner, enable auto import. Done. That's it. Okay. So either you auto import or you manual import. If you're doing manual import, make sure that from first import to second import, you're giving at least three to four minutes of decent time. Don't ever do any activity which is importing or which is syncing or which is connecting within seconds. That will trigger a robo activity for LinkedIn. Let's say you've given a search in directly on a LinkedIn. There are some 30, 40, 50 or hundreds of profile. Now you're screening one by one profile. Now you like the first profile. You like it. You click on job and import. 
it will be imported or auto don't ever click on auto import manual import only go open linkedin profile that interests you click on job in extension from top right corner go for that first option don't ever go for auto option always go for the first option some... that is a huh? should i open any sample profile i'll tell you not now i'll tell you okay, okay. so individual profile import there are two options one is auto and one is manual so make it only manual okay and then scroll down import linkedin search result in bulk you give a search and you got some 200 300 result and now you have you got crazy i want to import everything when you say okay fine select all and import all immediately it will trigger a robo activity and you'll start getting a alerts don't ever use that till the time it is mature enough import linkedin search result in bulk no bulk activity go to linkedin and define people search click on job in extension top right corner of the browser press start import default or uh, default amount is 100 you can also improve or uh, increase or decrease that number done selected search results are now in your contacts pages as i mentioned don't ever import in bulk anytime import linkedin search result no okay scroll down bulk linkedin group member import never the other tool i did it and that's it whatever the free things were there i have exhausted now exhausted but don't ever do bulk linkedin group import import people attending linkedin events let's say we are doing the event sometimes i do the events there's so many people are the attendees you can also give an event name and uh, see the people who has attended the, the event and we can also import that not really required scroll down okay automatically import linkedin post participant easily find people interested in a specific post looking for hire or anything like that in your feed you get keep getting post right all those posts people clicking or sharing or commenting on that particular post you can also import that contact list also this i've used it but i've used it manually long ago while i was applying for a microsoft earlier also i mentioned once where this was one engineering manager who was relocating from us to india and he mentioned in the uh, what we say in linkedin that that he is coming to india to build this team and he would be looking out to hire such kind of a excellent engineers and there were a lot of engineers who were saying interested 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 this thing that thing and all so what i've done i've gone through that post i've seen a list of all those people view more view more view more i've got a list of all that people i use data miner and by using a data miner i imported their first names sorry full name linkedin profile url and what they have mentioned uh, interested or what so what so whatever the stuff they have mentioned that everything i got into the excel after the, i revisited the profiles once again um uh, and tried taking up titles name title whatever is there but everything was available name title jobs just the data cleaning i've done it and then i sent it to this hiring manager and the hiring manager was so surprised then i said i just need an opportunity to uh, get interviewed with microsoft so that i can work for your roles that i'm really excited uh, to help you build teams in india and he was really astonished and the whole recruiting team was also like this is amazing so that's how it was but yeah unfortunately things did not go well as expected that's another story but yeah the way how i applied is this is the one way so automatically import linkedin post maybe we feel why we need to import linkedin post that is a one use case when i used to import a linkedin use book when you see such kind of a post definitely if you are if you wanted to apply for that company this could be one of the best ways that you're importing all those comments all those people who are commenting on it who are liking it and who are the relevant profiles you're taking the data of that you can use data miner for that it won't trigger any robo activity because it's on a single page it's not going even to the next page you're just clicking more 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 you're seeing all the list of people whoever has commented and you're just on that particular page you're using the data miner and taking the data so it won't trigger any robo activity but if you do this it might i never done this with Jobby, but it might but otherwise i would suggest go for a data miner scroll down pick company most important to your business okay you do a company search like other day we are mentioning we can also do a company searches you can do a company search and then you can uh, uh, get the data of that particular company also but again that will trigger a robo activity so import companies individually that will again trigger a robo activity 
So don't do anything which would trigger a robo activity. Just try to understand these things. But yes, few things we have to do because we have to source that is importing single profiles. Other things you can definitely use it, but when the right time comes, don't use it just to test or just to learn. When the right time comes, come back to the recording, see it once more, and then start implementing slowly step by step. Scroll, scroll up, um, Sangeeta. So I'll just take a pause. Any doubts, any confusion on source candidate from LinkedIn? Sangeeta, oh, now you can oh, go yeah. to LinkedIn and give some search that you're currently working on. Either you can directly go to the profile or give some search that you're currently working on. Okay, now go to job in extension. Yeah, I click on job in extension, okay. Huh. Okay, so that's it. It got imported to your contact list. Come back to job in. No need, no need to do anything. Just come back to job in. Uh, sure, okay. just clicking on that uh, extension will trigger the uh, import. That's it. Import means just what clicking... will come. Huh? Import means what will happen actually. It will come in the job in board or like anything happen. It will come in a job in. Okay, LinkedIn, there is no change. Only in job in it will display. That profile will be scrapped from LinkedIn to Jobin. Okay. Okay. Now, Sangeeta, this is, uh, you can just again go to the sourcing. Okay. This is about, again, click on sourcing. This is about LinkedIn import. This is about LinkedIn import. In LinkedIn import, only you're doing only that one activity which we have done now. If you're Headenting the profiles, if you're giving the searches, though there are other options, we can bulkly import it, but don't do that as of now because they're still a babies. It might trigger a robo activity and you might start getting the alerts. That is your risk. But yes, when you're doing a head ending, if you like the profile and if you think that this profile is really good, I wanted this profile to reach out for irrespective of the reason, it could be a job opportunity or it could be a generating a lead for your company. It could be any reason. If you feel, yes, this is the right person that you can talk to, either for a job opportunities or for a business development, that's where I'm just going ahead and clicking on that extension. And you don't have to do anything. It will be imported in your contracts on Jobin. So just go to next page, Sangeeta. Below that, yes, contacts. Just go to contacts. Sure, one question, sure. Yeah. Uh, just now she imported uh, somebody's so own or something. So I'm where... coming there. Just hold on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now you imported that one contact. I think before also you used Sangeeta. No, first time. Then why is that all in contacts or maybe no, these no, are the samples? That is coming for all. That is coming for all. Then maybe this is a sample data. Some, some, some random version. name. It, no, that is, so. These are not my contacts. These are not your contacts. Maybe this is a sample no, data not. on a free version. Yeah, yeah. These are not my contacts. None Scroll of them I completely. Know. Just see where that profile has gone. Okay, just all filter, use all filter and use all filter. Should I put the name of the profile I downloaded? Ah, just put first name and last name, it's there, right? Last name, I Rao, okay. No, no, on right hand side, name and surname is there, no? Okay, sorry. Now apply filter. That's it. Apply where, filter. Where do I click? No, no, just apply filter. Uh, bottom right hand corner. Okay, sorry. I didn't see that. No worries. Yeah. Okay. Just so this is Sonu Rao. That person has come. Other data, it is there in a free version, though we have not imported and we have not yet started using a free trial also. See, free trial, you use it when you are pretty sure about the tool. You are using the tool excellently well. And finally, when you're sure, yes, this is a one-month trial or two-month thing. They have a three-month trial, right? Something. 
two or three months something. And when you feel that, yes, in this one month, I'll be able to get that guaranteed lead or guaranteed hire, that time you go ahead and activate your free trial. But till then, still stay on a free version. So, Chef, normally for uh, starting trial, they ask for the card details or like how it is? No, they won't ask anything. Okay. You can so still why to use even the premium version? We're not really sure about the full optimization of it. Correct, correct, yeah. When they're giving me one month, two months free, and when I'm sure about, yes, I can use it to the full optimization, and I can make that one hire or that one client or whatever, which can means uh, help me for the entire year, that time I'll go ahead and use it. Same with LinkedIn Recruiter Lite. They give you one month free trial. Don't ever activate it unless you're sure that now, if I have a LinkedIn recruiter light, I'm going to close this role. And the day when you have the confidence, that time you just go ahead and activate it. And once you activate it, once you made a closure, then you already made enough revenue that you can pay for the whole year. Uh, Shiv, one question. Mm -hmm. So this, uh, the data will reset each Saturday it's showing, right? That means uh, Sangeeta has uploaded this guy, this person, Sonu Rao. By this Saturday, mm -hmm. this will disappear from her portal, the, her dashboard, is it? No, it will not go. It will be there. But what do okay. I do with this? I mean, I there is no click thing, nothing. I will show you that. Don't do anything as of now. Come back okay. to the sourcing. We'll go back here later. Sourcing, about that. Huh. Okay, so that is about LinkedIn import. Go for X-ray search now. Okay, scroll down. So, Jos, you can take a look at the screen. Just a second, scroll. Yeah, Jos, I took it from here as well. I took it from here as well. Take a look at different... the screen, and you'll be able to get all those sites which can. Accept. Sites are there, yeah, yeah. I've already taken it, right? Excellent. Yes, yes, yes. I am already. Yeah. Okay, so search people from LinkedIn or anything. Just scroll down. Huh. Here you give skills, all those one. Apply searches. Should I give or uh, what? I'll just give. Okay. Sample skill, any I can give? Any skill. And then any other or single only? Anything, as many as possible. If there is a data, it will come. Can you put it as medical Not come Give a skill and enter. Okay. Let's try with this. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I'll... So is there a situation shift where these keywords are not able to match or something? If we put it across? There can be. Okay. Mm. But it's basically here there's an elastic search. No oh, single data. The, can I write scientist also here? Anything, mm. just write down. I've given. Sangeet, I think you're not adding it. Yeah, not you're not adding. 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 Okay. Come or click out, it'll go. Okay. Click you scientist and enter. The drop down. So where is it? Mm. Close this. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. On that. Okay. Search keywords. Here are the skills you have given. Search for keywords also. Sure. Why this option is not coming now? Only one. Uh, okay. Enter. It's enter. Not... No, it's not taking enter. <clears throat> is there oh, now it has come. Oh, okay. Now it now is. Yeah, two are Wait, everyone, please wait. Slow by slow. Go step by step. Go for keywords, Sangeeta. First option above skills. Hmm. Keywords in header, job title, name. Just give some titles. Okay. Title. I mean, it's just. You give scientist only. Right? Scientist can be a title. You can give scientist here and remove from the skills. Okay. But yeah, okay. Here mm. I can have one more. 
close it open to work just on off just enable that here yeah. okay mm. okay if you want to search by company you search by company or I'll just give a location anywhere in north india or should i give anywhere your wish Close. Maggie, hello, Maggie. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Search and show places that you just leave it. If you want, you can just go ahead and search companies. You can advanced operator, just see. Advanced operator, okay. The search keyword around one, around two. See, these are all these operators which we covered. So that's what I was telling. More of understanding how these tools works. Was if you know manually, if you have thorough understanding of these particular tools, uh, how actually every single operator and everything is working. We are not again depending on these expensive tools. Otherwise, we'll get we were dependent on now free monster like that. Tomorrow we'll be depending on such kind of a tools. So there is no difference. The dependency will be still there. Okay, so proximity search. Search A and search B, no need of that. Around one, around two, you can give, but how exactly manually you have to create that X-ray searches, you are well aware of. I don't really have to tell now. In title, in text, all in text, I don't really have to tell now. More advanced operator, in URL, all that. More advanced operator. That end not required. No, should I do something? I didn't get it. Advanced operator. Again, click on advanced operator. Okay. Just see in case if it is giving more advanced operator. It is minimizing, right? Scroll oh, up yeah. now. Scroll up. Now, where do you want to search for? Top profiles, Google. Okay, X-ray search. People search on sites of your choice. Is there an option to select the sites here? Just see if it is not option. Uh, search there is no people option. on LinkedIn. No, it's not. No, it is not clickable. Ha, scroll yeah. down then. Just go ahead and scroll down and search. Start Google Start X-ray search. Okay. Mostly it has taken LinkedIn only. Okay, no, only the icons are clickable, actually. The icons. Huh? The icons only are clickable. Okay. Icons. Just see. Yeah, the icons. Clickable. You have to click the icons, each one. Yeah, here. Yeah. Link is From the box. Selected. Each box you can select. Yeah, whatever Twitter. you want. Yeah. Okay. Instagram. How about that one, Jos? Developers, freelancer, research. Yeah, that too. That too. Like, uh, you have to click the icon. Then you have Go to, to like, add the keywords and, uh, yeah. Should I click on LinkedIn or what? Where? Go to GitHub icon. GitHub icon. Where is it? Under, under developer, developer, it is there. Developer, on top. Ah, right. Like Everything above that box. No need, box. Left, uh, right no need to select, that's fine. No need to select, that's fine. Do your exploration later. No need to select. Yeah, Every oh, icon is clickable. Oh, you can yeah. click on, go to, just hover over icon. Oh, this icon. one, GitHub is here. I found it. Okay. All right, no need to select. That's fine. You have just to use the search criteria again. Select healthcare. Sangeeta, a scientist won't and exist on developer account, GitHub account. Come back to top profile. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. You want me to change the search? Then you tell Come me. Back to Come back to LinkedIn. All right, you already gave a search. Go to Google. This is how the search would look like for a LinkedIn. Now you know how to X-ray each and every sites. You can take a pattern of those sites. Manually you can X-ray or else you can still depend on the tool which is creating an X-ray for you where you're just giving a title and some of the keywords like site linkedin.com forward slash in and then Sangeeta come to the search. X-ray search. In Google. Okay, come to the search here. Huh. here? What is there in the search bar? Show that. Huh. So site linkedin.com forward slash in scientist microbiology open to work or open to work or open to work. Still syntactically incorrect. However, you can further fine tune 
manually when you know how to x-ray searches, how to create an x-ray searches, which we covered in a level two and level three and level one. If you know how to give more additional keywords of open to work, you can give as many keywords, like seeking for a password, looking for new properties, all these things. Tool is still limiting cool. only to open to work, but otherwise manually you can add more. You can give a proximity searches also to get the some of the best of the profile so that you're not depending on the tool. Yeah, Anand Kumar. But uh, if it is taking or or not the standing one. What? Yeah, oh actually he's saying Google Google search, we have to put the standing bar for or standing bar. This is LinkedIn. That is still incorrect, I'm saying, right? Yeah. Okay, still tools are there, they are still learning, but they are not that optimized. If you are getting thorough hands-on, then you see you will always surpass the tools. You don't really have to depend on the tool, what we covered in past. But here we are coming in some of the advanced tools, which are expensive, and we are seeing that whatever we learned so far. They are actually taking a use of all, all those things and trying to productize it, trying to build a product out of it, trying to build a automation or anything out of it. But if you know manually, you don't really have to depend on it. That's what I was telling you right from the day one. We are not going to cover many AI tools in depth or anything. Rather, we are going to cover how not to depend on AI. So I guess today you have an answer for that, what I was telling you. Do we have an answer for that? Correct, Shiv. Shiv, yes, Shiv. Shiv experience is basically do do not go behind these tools rather you use your own this thing what you have learned frankly speaking this is what Absolutely. my experience says yeah because yeah. all learn it like... yeah, for apple they don't <laughs> know apple what it is you learn it later. Huh? <laughs> kids know though they know apple name still we teach them like they are teaching us from a basic okay so yeah, now you see these tools, again, if you don't learn all those things, tomorrow again you're going to depend on the tool, nothing else. But what they are doing, though no rocket science, what we know, they're just trying to program it in the product. And are they still that much optimized the way we are doing it? If Sangeeta, you have to give the X-ray search to find scientists, microbiologists from all those locations, will you give like this? No. How will you give? Much I will way. say in title uh, colon and I will I might put scientist and then in text Location, in title, colon, open to work so many things you're using right yeah 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 and then location also I will give here so it's not taking what all we gave there again it's not taking what all we gave okay yeah. so come back to job in again but yes good to know how these tools are working yeah. Because tomorrow when you upskill on coding or something like that, you'll be definitely in a situation to come up with these kind of products by yourself only. Or maybe tomorrow no code applications will come where you just have to input some uh, inputs from all those things. Do this, do that, do this, do that. And you might be able to build your own tools. You never know. Technology is changing very fast. Scroll down, Sankita. Okay. So that's about the X-ray search. And if you scroll up, you can search all those platform. If you don't know the syntax of all those platform, how to X-ray those platform. Let's say now you just go to, okay, instead of scientist, look for design, UI, UX. Microbiology, you keep it. Okay, just remove. Instead of scientist title, go for UI, UX. But some sites actually don't work as well in this. Huh? They have just given their still integrating i guess they're still integrating it just that's it scroll up scroll up go up up go up that you keep it sangeeta completely fine go up i'm saying just change the instead of linkedin go for behance now which is behance in symbol behance in designer, designer. Tool. just Left go side. to designer designer okay yeah this now, one designer is for this one. Okay, scroll down. Now search. Okay, site behance.net and all UI UX open to work, open to work, open to work. But if you give the searches by yourself, you would give much better. All right. So whichever, if you want to know what is the syntax of that particular site to get the individual profile, maybe for that you can use all these sites and note Okay, this is how the site can be x-rayed. And based on that, you can always go ahead and build your own 
custom search engine, which is fetching the data from 20, 30, 40 different sites. So come to job in. Again, Sangeeta, maybe an assignment for you for this week. What you need to do is like scroll up. Okay, create for everyone, one. scroll up for everyone assignment. Create a CSE for freelancer, which should fetch the data from all those sites mentioned here. Create a CSE for research and academics, which should fetch the data from all those sites which is given here. Create a repository from companies plus startups, understand the syntax and which is fetching a data from startups. Create a CSC, which is fetching a data from healthcare portals. All these are healthcare things. Create a CSC, which is for designer, which is getting data from Dribble, Behance and other one. Create a CSC, which is fetching from the entire social media from YouTube, Vimeo, Quora, all those things. Create a CSC from top profile repositories like LinkedIn, Facebook, all those things. And create a CSC for developer, which is facing the data from GitHub and then Stack Overflow, all those things. Okay, at least share two CSCs which are focused for any one job family. Here we have a, how many? Freelancer one, research and academic two, company and startup three, healthcare four, designer five, other social media six, top profile repository seven, developer eight. Create at least two best one as per the requirements that you're working and come up with a CSE. Like, let's say if you create a CSE for developer, it should fetch a data. Go to developer, Sangeeta. Click on that. Which one? Anything, just select one. Any? Get just select one. Okay. So that it comes here. So create a CSE which should fetch profiles from GitHub, Stack Overflow, A, and all those things. Google for quotes, Kaggle. Yeah, yeah. Top developer, Google, Dev Community, Microsoft, Research basically, Freescale, and then Hacker Rank, OH, Open Hub. Additionally, instead of Hacker Rank, you can go for Hacker Earth. Instead of only Google and Microsoft, just see if you can get the data from AWS. Instead of only GitHub and Stack Overflow. Just see if there are any other coder sites that you can get the data from. And then try to come up with one CSC, which is only searching for developers. But at least from here it is 10. I would be really happy if you can come up with a CSC, which is fetching the data from 20 plus sites of only developers. Sangeeta, but for you, it is a high, hard assignment. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. So this yeah. is basically for X-ray searches, but you know the power of CSC. If you're creating a CSC on these things, you don't really have to this, use this tool. Absolutely no. You don't really have to pay that $50 per month. You can absolutely do whatever the tool is doing for you, absolutely for free of cost, just by using one job in extension. The rest everything, you're doing it by yourself. Okay, again, come to uh, those sourcing. Click on sourcing. So CSV import. Go to CSV input. Now, let's say you gave an X-ray search. You got the data from GitHub or anything. And now you wanted to uh, import the file. This is import. There could be export also, import data. Okay, it is import only, right? Where now you want to import a file where I got a list of data, where I have their email IDs or uh, LinkedIn profile links or anything as such. Like we use Google Sheet, right? Uh, sourcing on G Sheet by using a Sheet GPT. That data, you got it. Now you wanted to connect with them or you wanted to do some further engagement activity. What you do? Simply import that data over here. All right. Import that data over here. It will come to the contacts and then you can create an engagement activity. We'll come there later. But you can also import the data over here. Whichever the data by X-ray searches or by scraping data or in Google Sheets also when we did a Sheet GPT search, the data can be imported over here. Cool. Any doubts, any confusion on importing data? It's very simple. You just have to create a CSV file. Or you have a downloaded test file. Downloaded test file, see, uh, Sangeeta, that green one. This one? Okay. Uh, Should I open it? Hmm. This is how name, phone, all these are default profile, which by 
in a sample profile which has come to your profiles but we'll remove them don't worry so you have a name phone email id uh, role title company location linkedin urls and tags remove everything only linkedin url also if you is more than enough you'll have an excellent data now let me send you the data once let me see in case if there is any csv data available on my system I keep clearing it. Today also I cleared. Then I prospect. Okay, let me send you a copy of dummy data only, which we are using it. What's the email address, Sangeeta? Sangeeta, your email ID? cvs.s at the rate gmail.com Yeah, I just sent you. It's not come here yet. Yeah, there, there it is. is. Just save the file. Don't open, just save the file as it is. So it's there in the downloads. Now, now go there. Just see import and can you map? This one? Huh. Copy of dummy data. Huh. 12, 21, 41, yeah. Should I click huh, on see. this? Huh. Okay. So name is matching to name, email, link. Scroll down. Not In yet. This one or this one? First one this or one. second one? This no, no, one. this one. First one. Okay. Link, link edit. Just edit the link. You have a pencil. Go to link and you have an edit option. Link. No, no. Here, link. Name, email, link. Okay. Ah, that edit pencil is there. No? Edit. I clicked on edit, so this is showing two options. Okay, click on link. One second. See. Edit. Click on that pencil. Set this record as unplus. Okay, just keep it as it is. That's fine. Okay, okay scroll down again. Okay, sourcing. Okay, now go to contacts. No, no, in this first, you have after CSV, there is a contacts. Okay. Click on that. I've clicked. Not happening. Okay, just go to start import. What is it saying? Close this. Okay. So we have to select the fields, they will come here. Maybe mm, select. So profile summary. I think it is a drag and move option. That's why the hand is there. Can we try dragging it? Drag no, I think the arrow, the arrow we have to click, no? Arrow. Arrow is also there. Drag and move also is there. Just scroll up, go to the name first. Huh. Now that arrow. Wait and then match it with the either you drag. 
drag. So no, it's not. Hold and drag. If it is happening, do it. Otherwise, just select. Now, that arrow is there. Arrow, arrow, right arrow. Between, between that. that. Yeah, okay. No, it's not clicking. Mm -hmm. You have to select the name, I guess, in that other option. So, when I click on name, this happens. Okay, start I import. Okay, right select it, no start import. Start import. Please let me wish to import. Okay, close. Click on that pencil. I think it's a new UI, something. Pencil. Remove set record as unclassified. No, just click somewhere and remove this. Main fields. Smart link parser. LinkedIn or website profile summary. Could I right click? Maybe no, nothing. Right click. So you have a various arrows over there. Just select and just see in case if you can click on any of the arrows. Select. Select email also. Should I press shift and select? Click Otherwise. It. it is selecting any one. Yeah. On left hand top, there is something called some uh, cross mark. Click the cross left to top. Change left. input file. Uh, can she try this? Uh, select the name and click on this uh, right side. There is a uh, button, right? Main fields. There she can click the right arrow. Click Whether on that name, right arrow. Yeah, name may come there. Let us see. Click on that. Yes, contact fields came. Click next. One more time, one more time. What is coming? Oh. CV detail, no. No. Go back, go back, go back. Main there is the search button. Try searching for name. No, I know. Earlier it was simple, yeah. Enter. Nothing. Okay, scroll down this option. Second option, just scroll down. What all data is there? Link, you just map name to name. Okay, map name to name. Huh. Yeah. Now it has so come. Has come yeah. Now select okay. email. Huh. Now select email. Map email to email. Where is the email? Yeah, work, work email. email. Huh. email. Okay. okay. Now take skills. Scroll down, see if there is an option for skills. No, nothing. This is the bottom. Okay. Ah, just add it. profile summary. Link. Just add link. Uh, profile summary. Ah, profile yeah. summary you add. Hmm. And experience. Experience. Mm -hmm. Should I send to home address? Not required. Add, just add with the title. <laughs> link. Just go for link now. Okay. Email uh, link and here go for a LinkedIn smart link parser. No, actually you have to select that all is there, right? You have to select appropriate field and link it with that. For each uh, it comes different, actually. Now select smart link parser. Okay, so all and go. What, Jos, what you were saying? There is an all option that is there, right, in uh, right. orange. So you have to keep changing according to the field. You have to map it to that field. For each uh, option, all means, it doesn't mean like all the options from the thing is coming up. For each, it is has, having separate. It's not it mapped correctly. It. Yeah, so it's not mapped correctly. Whatever the file you uploaded, that Should sample file reset? you downloaded, right? Sample file reset? you downloaded. No need to reset. Click on all. Yeah, so field by field, you have to go, actually. Okay, field by field, you have to go. Okay, so now come back to sourcing again. So CSV, this is how you upload. The best practice, whatever the sample data is there, whatever the sample data you downloaded, just try to see if you get the data in those kind of a format. 
uh, just go to the sample data. You just downloaded one sample data, right? Yeah. Sample file. Huh. So in this file, you no need of email or phone number or anything, just the name or only the LinkedIn URLs also there. That is more than enough. Rest everything, it will enrich by itself. You just need a LinkedIn URL. Just keep a file format in this way and enter the LinkedIn URLs, whatever, you'll get it. And then upload. Just minimize this. Go to that page. Not LinkedIn. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that's about the CSV import. Go for a site search now. Okay. Now, if you want to import from LinkedIn, import from Sales Navigator, import from Link uh, Recruiter, or import from Facebook, Twitter, scroll down. Again, it will take you to those particular sites. It will ask you to perform a search. And what is the search you have done? Based on that, it will start you to ask import, bulk import, single import, or whatever. But don't do that, especially on LinkedIn. Rest of the sites, you can feel free to. You can go ahead and do that. But especially LinkedIn, don't ever do any auto or any robo activity. Okay, on LinkedIn, only one that you're going head hunting the profile one by one, one by one. Whichever you feel is a great profile, only for that profile, you're clicking on a job in action. Only that one, you use it. And that's how you keep the free version forever. The rest of this, don't really have to use it. It is not useful for you. Whatever the features are there, you can actually manually do it. Pretty much with much more various filters, which have much more benefits. Instead of depending only on a tool. All right. Clear? Anyone, any doubts on CSV imports? Sangeeta, go to sourcing. Any doubts on LinkedIn import, X-ray search, CSV import, and site search? No, sir. Go to contact sure, list, Sangeeta. Sure. Uh, site search is not clear, sure. Site search, you go to any site, it will ask you to perform a search, and it will take the data from there. It will open the Facebook. Suppose if you click on Facebook, it will open the Facebook. Uh, it will open uh, Facebook. And you have to search over there and it will take it from there. Import the data from Facebook. So even if we don't have Facebook account, uh, still we can import the data no, from Facebook? You, have to have, you need to have a Facebook account. Okay. If, is there okay. any limit to import or any limit here? On free job? version, I think there is a limit to import. You need to check in the... On free version, what is available and see the limit. Okay. Okay. Now go to contact list. Import your Google contacts, import your Microsoft contacts, scroll down. Here also there will be an option of import a CSV contacts or anything like that. Import your Apple contacts, import your iPhone contacts, Hotmail. So email contacts, import your Yahoo. So CSV is in a previous one only where you can uh, import a CSV file altogether. Okay, I'll just take a pause. Any doubts on sourcing? No, sir. We're good? Yeah. Uh, just a CSV thing, the third option into the sourcing. Huh. Go to sourcing, Sangeeta. Hmm. Go to That's CSV. So here, whatever the downloaded test profile is there, use that sample profile. And in that, you enter the data. Um, do one thing, Savita. Can, uh, sorry, Sangeeta. Uh, down, import one more time the same file. Import again the same? Same file, import once again. The same? Copy of dummy data, yeah. So it's it starting is. from where we left. Hmm, so I'll have to reset it. Should I reset it? Either reset or start import. Yeah. Now it is back. Now it is back, right? So we need to map all those fields. What are the fields? Are there name to name, email to email, link to link, all those fields. Name to name. Okay. Link to link, email to email. Just link to link. That's it. Okay. Now, just go to next ones. Click on the main fields and just go to next ones. Contact field. Scroll down. LinkedIn. Just select on LinkedIn. 
LinkedIn manual input this value will be given to all imported contacts. Edit. Is there anything that you can write here? No. This value will be given to. Okay, just close this. Go next. Skills. Here I can match skill to ah. skill. Okay, scroll down. Okay, go next. Experience also he is there. You can give experience also. Come previously. Industry experience. You don't have to do, do this much manually. Import now. Everything is done. Now import now. Should I click on Good. that? All fields are associated. You are ready to import your data. Import. No, if the first uh, data, the first row is named as per the like options, it will be correctly, I guess. I think first only is what we need to import. After that, by default, it will take all. Yeah. Refresh now, Sangeeta. I think here you gave first and last name. That's the reason you're getting only first and last name. Reset the search now. Remove that first and last name. Ha, reset. Um, select. Select. All this junk profile. How shall I remove? Select all ones. Just see in case if there is an option to delete. But they're coming free of cost if we delete. No, no. They're just random profiles. Okay. You want me to delete them? How many profiles are there? 12,404 profiles are going to delete. No, I hope uh, these, they don't belong to me. They don't belong no. to you. That's what I'm saying. So select all ones. Load or deselect ranking criteria. No, no. Here, yeah. on the left hand side, before the reset of search, you have select all. Huh. All filters. Huh. That one. Select all, selected all, and that's why it is coming on the right hand side. Scroll up, is just see if there is an option to delete. Maybe in a free version, they are syncing the entire data, how much are possible, yeah. and trying to show. She left them be there only. <laughs> Don't hmm? delete them. Don't delete them. <laughs> Let me go through Don't them. It's okay. Let them be there. Scroll up, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. That's it, you can do, right? Okay, otherwise, uh, search. Just try giving a search. Again, click on all filter. Hmm. From here, instead of first name, last name, maybe location, you can just give India and see. Accept. Apply filter. So all you still have people from India. Have come. Yeah. 266. And whatever the data you uploaded there, definitely all those people will be coming here as well. Okay. But with that, a lot of junk is also coming. If you want to keep it, you just keep it. But the moment you upgrade it to the trial version or anything, this data is going to go. It's Actually, only there is one more way where we can find only the uh, imports which we did. So in tag option, there is a uh, like tag option to import, right? So there we can mention like uh, for each uh, uh, sheet we import, we can add a tag. And here with the tag, we can just, uh, uh, what to say, like... Uh, there was no tag. That's where I was okay, coming we from. can attack the skill yeah. you mean. Okay. No, no, no. You have to add a column in the tag, like uh, uh, in the sheet. Go to sheet one, Sangeeta. Yeah. Sangeeta, go to sheet one, the one which we imported. Okay. You have to mention it not in the Excel one. sheet. The CSV file, yeah. which I sent you. Dummy data. Yeah, so CSC, you told me not to open. Should I open? Open, open. That's fine. And again, resave it in the CSC. This is... Okay. Now, open that. 
ओके ऐड टैग विच कॉलम वन और टू वेर आफ्टर स्किल्स ओके इन एफ ऐड टैग एंड से सोर्सर्स नेक्स्ट लाइन सोर्सर नो हेयर आई राइट हाँ देर ओनली राइट ओके ड्रैग इट या पुट फॉर ऑल ओके अगेन फाइल सेव एस सीएसवी फाइल ब्राउस यूटीएफ कॉपी ऑफ डब्ल्यू डेटा वन मेक इट वन कॉपी ऑफ डब्ल्यू डेटा वन चेंज द नेम हम्म सेव नाउ रीअपलोड द डेटा यस go to sourcing yes we find better close and upload that's right upload 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 import hmm now tag it to name to tag. name email to email link to link hmm where do we look for tag okay just search for experience search for exp from two of eight oh, it's not experience working. it's not working actually search for tag search enter tag has come Tag to tag. Okay, skill. Search for skill. Skill to skill. Search for EXP or entire experience. Scroll down. Somewhere. Yeah. It will come somewhere in this. You go for LinkedIn. It was work experience. Industry experience. Type industry. Yeah, some numbers. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Import now. Now go to contact. Go to tag. Reset the search. Go to tag. So, oh. sir. There is a tag. Accept. So, it's still coming. Oh. So, so far only one has come. It will take some few seconds. So, that the whole data will be here. Now, click on. I will Last ask you. one has come. Abhilash was last. Abhilash was last. Maybe it's going alphabetical. You can refresh now. You might get two, three more names. Click on Abhilash. So on the right hand side, in Google. Click on open profile. We have not given any LinkedIn profile. All those were dummy links actually. So you might not get anything because the data itself is dummy data. But it just click on LinkedIn now. Let's see if with the email ID it is mapping the LinkedIn profiles. Click on that. No, it is not going. So come back because those links are not there. They're, they're incomplete links. Okay, come to contacts now. So, sir, is that the LinkedIn tag or tag? Which tag is it? No, it's tag tag. 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 Delete that. I think it will take some time to process the data. Yeah. Okay, so that's about views. Is that clear? You can go to sourcing now, Sangeeta. 
sourcing CSV import. Uh, everyone clear how to go with the CSV import? Yes. Yeah, sure. Yes. Yeah, sure. no? Okay. Great. So we'll do one thing. We'll take a pause for now. You go and explore till the CSV import. And tomorrow we come back and explore all additional features. All right. What is this red thing? Should I click on this? Click on that notification something. Yeah. Okay. Import of Sonora 100% complete. This is what we imported from LinkedIn. Okay. From LinkedIn we have imported. Okay, so on a free version, you have 0 of 15 invitations, 0 of 15 messages, uh, profile imports, and import. You have 150 imports. Uh, limit on a free version, you have 150 imports. And I think uh, your operation quota at two or every one week, it is a limit, I believe. So every one or two weeks, this sets, resets the data. So data will be there. As Raghu asked, it resets the data. That means that the data goes off. No, it resets the credits. Whatever the data is there, data will be still there. But it resets the credits. All right. So we'll take a pause till here. Explore the steps till here. After that, let's come tomorrow and go for the further steps. Otherwise, it will be too long for today. Uh, I don't think uh, that would be the right option for us. All right, team? Yes. Yes, yes sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you see, there are so many things. Again, you go behind other tools also. They are almost doing the same job, which actually manually you can absolutely do it. But if you want to just program it, productize it, you learn programming, productize it, and start coming up with that kind of a product. But absolutely not required when we know manually how to do it each and everything, how to use each and every operator and all those stuff, how to use various tools and all. Rather, I'll just take that job in one click extension. I'll do all my searches. As soon as I get a good profile, I'll just use that one extension, which is useful for me. Rest of that, I'll ignore because already I know. I don't really have to go for a paid version to get all those things. I'll just take that one click option, job in, and after that, I'll try to set up for automation for the limited set of profiles, what I need. And just in case if you feel that this is working fantastically fine. And now with this one month of free trial, I'll be able to make some closure. That time you go ahead and upgrade it and make some closure so that you have enough revenue that you have covered for the whole year subscription. Okay, yeah, Ankita. So, just a small thought, uh, not regarding jobbing, but uh, last session we've done this sheet uh, GPT thing, right? So, uh, mm -hmm. is there any limitation of importing the contacts from LinkedIn? No, no limitations. That's a free version. You can use as many as times. Like as I've uh, given Flipkart and DevOps, and then I've uh, I've asked GPT to get me the list of five candidates. There is no limitation. There are prompts which goes up to some lakhs of prompts. So don't worry about it. Okay. How? Can we read them, sir? Like, is there any such thing? Uh, how to use this data and all that? That is something that we got from Sheet GPT. How can you use data? How can we make use out of it? Like, we'll uh, do the uh, prospect. You can always add if you have explored that three tools: get prospect and other two which I mentioned. If you have already explored that, then you might know all those URLs, whatever you got from the Sheet GPT. You can upload here and start setting up your automation. But if you have not explored those three tools, then Sheet GPT is useless or Jobin is oh. also useless. If you're exploring those three tools for in-depth, exploring Jobin three tools for in-depth, with three, four tools in-depth, then definitely that would be useful. If you have to keep that into the use, then this has to be, if, if you have to keep data miner into the use, if you have to keep any data extraction into the use, if you have to keep that you source the profile and you got the CSV from somewhere. If you have to use all this external data for the enrichment, that's where you have to learn this three, four different tool in depth, how exactly this three, four different tool works while uploading all these profiles. Then you'll be able to connect the dots and come up with your own automation process. But if you're unable to connect, both are useless. Got it. All right, so that's the reason I gave one day of time for you to experiment on those three tools. Please go tomorrow back, experiment on those three tools. And I'm sure if you experiment on those three tools in depth, if you understand those three tools, how they are working, then exploring uh, this tool would be easier for you. Anyone who has explored those three tools, have you find this tool easier for yourself to explore? Yes, no? 
I can see like when I looked at the semicolon related stuff, I'm not getting an exact full data. Maybe some of them it's showing. Like AC, AC if I'm looking at. AC. ASIC, ASIC, or a UVM, OVM. These are technology which is, comes on a okay. semiconductor domain. Mm -hmm. uh, when yeah. I look at these data, it, it's not fetching a too much data. Very few data systems. Maybe there's less results because there are niche scales, there are less results. Okay. So ASIC is result. as it is very less in the market. Yeah. Very, few, very few industry targeted. Because it's quantum computing, you, like I don't even have hundreds of people in India. So by default, it will fetch less. No, not like that. There are data because the companies like Intel, Qualcomm, Broadcom, Cypress. All well, these are traditional skills. This candidate doesn't exist anywhere. They retire, they join the company, they retire in the same company. Yeah, At least most of them like that. Years, they'll be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those yeah. Same For ASIC, try mean... Philips or uh, Net NPI, Network Programs India. They had a lot of ASIC profiles okay. initially. Okay. Because I look for IP guys, not from other domain. Like IP guys would be ideal. So I remember a couple of years ago to head and such kind of a talent, people used to go to this IT parks. Mm, uh, so that's completely offline sourcing okay. people used to do. Yeah, yeah. All right. So yeah, that's it team for today. Let's connect tomorrow and go for our additional steps. Okay. Thanks. Thank Thanks you. Sure. Thanks everyone. Bye.